The American Civil War, fought between the Union and Confederate forces, took place from 1861 to 1865. During the war, a variety of weapons were used on both sides. These weapons include edged weapons such as knives and swords, firearms such as, rifled muskets, breech loaders and repeating weapons, various field guns such as artillery, and new weapons such as the early grenade and machine gun. The Civil War is often to referred as the first modern. War in history as it included the most advanced technology and innovations of warfare available at the time. Some of the innovations and advances of the Civil War included mass production of war materiel, rifling of gun barrels and the use of the minier ball, the advent of repeating firearms and metallic cartridges, ironclad warships, advances in medicine, communication especially the telegraph, and transportation railroads, and the gradual decline of tactics from previous centuries. Personal weapons <inaudible> Edged weapons In 1862, Joseph E. Brown, governor of Georgia, proposed issuing pikes to the state militia to compensate for the shortage of guns. Thousands were made and issued but not known to have been used in combat. Handguns Derringers, pepper box pocket pistols, and small revolvers like the Colt Baby Dragoon or Teat Fire were often carried by enlisted men as a backup gun for close quarters fighting. Single shot caplock pistols copied from the pre war French model were issued to the United States Navy. These had brass barrels to prevent corrosion. Some Confederate cavalry units were equipped with single-shot percussion cap or even flintlock pistols early in the war. Some pistols were of military make and had been issued to the U.S. Army but were obsolete by the time of the Civil War due to the introduction of revolvers. <laughs> <laughs> Rifles Early in the war, Confederates used civilian arms including shotguns and hunting rifles like the Kentucky or Hawken due to the shortage of military weapons. The British officer Arthur Fremantle observed that revolvers and shotguns especially double-barreled models were the favored weapons of Confederate cavalry and mounted infantry during his 1863 visit to the South. The American Civil War belligerents did have crude hand grenades equipped with a plunger that would detonate upon impact. The North relied on experimental Ketchum grenades, with a wooden tail to ensure the nose would strike the target and start the fuse. The Confederacy used spherical hand grenades that weighed about six pounds, sometimes with a paper fuse. They also used Rains and Adams grenades, which were similar to the Ketchum in appearance and firing mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy weapons Rapid-fire weapons Similar weapons included J.D. Mill's coffee mill gun. Like the Gatling gun, the cartridges of Mill's invention were fed by a hand crank, and this is why some people believe that President Lincoln called it, "...the coffee grinder gun." Other infantry support weapons included the .58 caliber Ager gun with a hopper on top and steel guard, and the Billinghurst Requa battery which had eight banks of cartridge chambers that were rotated into alignment behind the row of 25 barrels. Chief of Ordnance, General James Wolfe Ripley was against issuing repeating rifles and rapid-fire weapons to the Union Army as he believed it would waste ammunition. Nevertheless, several generals, including General Benjamin Butler and General Winfield Scott Hancock, purchased Gatling guns. The Confederate used the hand cranked single barrel Williams gun and the Vandenberg volley gun, a volley gun similar to the French mitrailleuse. Artillery See also French weapons in the American Civil War equals equals notes